G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today, we've got a bit of a dilemma on our hand that we need to take care of. Um, if you've been tuning in for the last couple of months, you'll know we've got the waterfall tank set up. Um, but, let me turn around so you can see my face. Basically the fish have been jumping out of the tank, so we need to fix that. So, um, my plan is to fix that in a certain way. And um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm skeptical on the process, but no doubt you guys will give me a couple of comments to say whether you think it's going to work. Um, and I do, I love your feedback. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the black egg crate and I'm going to cut it four wide and I'm actually going to glue it on here angled back on a 45. So we need one, two, three. Um, I don't know if that's enough egg crate and I only want to use black. So I need to work out whether I've got enough. But um, let me do the math and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, I don't have enough but I have close to enough but I'm just going to do what I can for now and I've got to find another sheet of black so I just use a hand saw to cut this just on like the backwards cut Uh, not a very good example, it keeps getting jammed. Um, and then I, like, I just use the saw to clean it up. Always on the back cut. Sometimes if you go forwards it like blows it out. Takes out the um, squares that you want to keep. Uh, the very end one, don't go hitting that hard. Just want to cut it gently. So then I made my four square wide pieces. Uh, clean this one up. It's kind of sad really. I'm actually cutting up a divider, but I can make it. I can make more dividers that work out of acrylic. Oh, I got the wrong one. Not good, guys. It's definitely not foolproof. Tend to get some casualties. Ah, it's good enough. I'll see you once I've cleaned all these up. Alright, so basically what I did is I've made this the right size and I've just cable tied it together. So, um, I'm really going to be pushing it with material here, but I'm, uh, I'm going to come real close, but I see what I got over there. There's gonna the bottom the bottom one's gonna have a cup an extra join or two in it, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter. It's not a this tank's already a shambles. It's not a um, beauty pageant anyway. So I'm gonna join these together and then I'll be back. All right, guys. So now bit of silicon along this edge. Uh, this is kind of sad really. I spent so much time cleaning this tank up. Now I'm covering it in silicon. But it's got to be done. I can't have fish jumping out. Let me grab 
grab one of our pieces. Kind of need six hands. Try to tape it at the right angle. Oh, what a mission! One down, three to go. Two to go, not three. Um, I'll get back to you once I finish them because it's kind of hard to talk to the camera and do that at the same time. All right, so I used my brains on the next one. I put the tape on the plastic before I started gluing it. Um, so it definitely turned this tank from almost a display kind of thing into a, a strictly breeding tank. Um, but it's what I had to do. Kind of like upsetting, but at this stage, keeping the fish alive is more important than the looks of the tank. Um, it's, still, it's not overly invasive, I'll, I'll say that much. I'll probably end up knocking it off and having to re-glue it, but it, uh, it should last a while. I, I glued the edge of the sides. Um, but obviously it's plastic and I've siliconed it, so it's not ideal. Uh, if you caught the members video guys, you'll understand why um, setting this tank up was such an urgency. Um, well, not so much setting it up, but getting that barrier ready to put fish in this tank. Because um, I need some space for some new fish that I got. Um, I did explain in yesterday's members video, a little bit of an exclusive for them. Um, but I will be telling you guys about them shortly. I just wanted to give the members a bit of a head start, you know. But anyway, guys, um, it's definitely... Uh, I'm really looking forward to the future with my flower horns. Um, it, it, it's, it's a really good road I'm going on, I think. And um, I'm going to have some cool fish coming up. Some really cool fish. So, I'm trying to get my face in the light, but yeah. Anyway. Um, if you like this video guys give a thumbs up, if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button. If you've got some video suggestions drop it in the comments, uh, although I am pretty busy with projects this week, um, it will definitely, I can definitely um, do tailor made videos in the future, um, and peace out.